Hello, today is the day that Apple has released the public beta versions of things like macOS Ventura, iOS 16, um, iPadOS 16. All of these are now available for anyone who really wants to, to start using. But please be aware this is test beta software. I'm going to run you through kind of the process of getting your device signed up for it. So we're going to start off on this video with macOS Ventura and uh, it's basically going to run you through how you enroll your Mac so that you can receive these beta updates but there are caveats to this should you do it is a very different question and one that you probably should have a little think about before you do uh, bear in mind that this is very much beta software this is designed specifically for people to do testing on this is not designed to be ready for prime time this is designed for people who actually want to test out the new features and are going to tolerate the fact that there are going to be bugs involved in this software. For example, you are likely to get worse battery life on these betas than you would on your regular device uh, if you were using the production software, the, the main public version. Uh, you are likely to have uh, issues with certain apps crashing and this will change from time to time during the beta process you will find that apps are less stable you will find that there are features that don't quite work as they're supposed to you will find that sometimes you will have hardware issues where maybe your device won't connect to wi-fi properly uh, you might have to do a lot more restarts but if you are comfortable with those provisos you're comfortable with what might happen what might go wrong with your devices and you don't need them for uh, production you don't need them to do your job let's say um, then it is something that you are welcome to get involved with and all you need to do to start off with is head over to beta.apple.com there you will be presented with a screen which will let you sign in with your Apple ID and then you can kind of choose what device you're uh, looking to enroll. You can go up to the top here on this. Uh, this is the Mac OS Ventura because we are on the Mac right now. And uh, you can go up to the top here and go to enroll your device. You'll get a little bit of information on the screen that tells you about uh, the beta software that you're going to go up to and it will run you through what you should do first so you should back up your Mac because there is a good chance that you might lose some data um, so make sure that you can do that uh, back up your Mac enroll your Mac which basically involves clicking here and you will download what is um, a profile this is basically a little piece of software let's open it up now this is uh, basically a little installer and I'll make sure I keep pulling this stuff back to the screen that we're on because I'm not recording my entire screen for you um, so this will take you through the installation process you hit continue here you agree to all the terms and conditions that you definitely read very very carefully and then you install it and I will type my password over here and then the little package script runs and uh, that closes. We can get rid of that. This is basically just installing a profile on your system, which means that the software update will be able to now find macOS Ventura Beta. So if we do an upgrade now, then this is going to basically download all the files. It's about 12 gigabytes, so make sure that you've got enough space on uh, download caps if you're on capped downloads wherever you happen to be. And uh, this will then go through the installation process and uh, restart your system probably a number of times and uh, then you'll be able to use macOS uh, beta Ventura which gives you all of the new um, software features that are coming with uh, Ventura so you've got things like stage manager which is obviously it seems like it's more intended for the iPad uh, but I actually don't have an iPad with M1 so I don't get to test it on that but I do get to try it out and see how it works on macOS, which is interesting for me. I do think it's going to be here more for people who use an iPad and want to have that continuity of uh, experience when they come to a Mac. I think that's really what it's designed for a lot more than for people to purely use on a Mac. It does take up some of your screen real estate. Luckily, I'm quite lucky and have 4K of, uh, of resolution here to play with, um, which is why I can record just a small portion of my screen. Um, but yes, so this uh, little process will continue and then we will be able to move on with the installation process. 
So while that's been downloading, all I've just done is uh, closed a lot of the background apps that I have running because I am terrible. I leave stuff running all the time in the background. And uh, one of the things that I do find is sometimes Photoshop decides to be a little bit jank and uh, decides to kind of stop restarts happening properly. Also, the less background apps I've got running, the uh, less there will be to restart as soon as uh, as soon as we get to that point in the process where it starts to do restarts. Because sometimes Mac OS decides that it's going to restart all of your apps even when you've just changed operating systems, which is uh, convenient when you want it. But here we go. The uh, update is installing, uh, and that's pretty quick. Uh, normally, we would get a full splash screen. I don't know if we're going to get that this time, uh, but we will see what we get. Here we go. So, we have our screen. We get our uh, very, very important uh, to read Terms and conditions. I think we've uh, we've all covered that. I have indeed. So we install on the main disk, and here we go. It's going to take a little bit of time, so I will uh, cut the screen recording at this point because not a great deal more that is interesting is going to happen now, and uh, I will let you know what goes on, and uh, we'll we'll be back here once it's installed. Fifty six minutes. We will see. A few minutes later. And here we are. We've got macOS uh, Ventura installed. My phone is currently installing iOS 16 because I'm a crazy maverick who is uh, apparently comfortable with uh, putting everything to be a little bit less reliable. Uh, but here we go. Uh, so this is the new kind of about your Mac screen as it comes up now. So you go to a little more info and it takes you into the settings app. Yes, that's called system settings, not system preferences anymore one of the biggest changes that has come to mac os um in years <laughs> this is this is huge but actually i really do quite like this the way that uh, everything's laid out now it is a lot more like the ios version can we scale this no it just moves around we don't actually get to uh, resize it but that's absolutely fine uh go to bluetooth you've got all of these things that appear then yeah this is this is a much uh much easier way of doing things because I think the old settings app, the old system preferences rather, with the weird tile layout was a little bit confusing. This looks like it's going to be a lot more intuitive as soon as we get used to this. Uh, obviously, trying to find things the first time is going to be a little bit of a pain. But uh, yeah, really pleased with how everything looks at the moment. Appearance, we can go into there. We've got auto, we've got all of the accent choices as usual. Obviously, you've got your wallpaper options, uh, and I've put up the default one for Mac OS um, Ventura as well here. Um, and do we have some new apps to have a look at? Let's have a quick check. So we've got the install, we've got the new weather app, which is obviously if you use an iPad, this is basically the only reason that you would uh, update uh, if you don't have an M1 iPad at least. Uh, we've seen in fact that it's gonna be an absolute heat wave next weekend and uh, the, <laughs> the local, um, Local authorities have just been letting us know how terrifying it's going to be. So, that's exciting. Uh, but yeah, huge, huge improvement to be adding this in as well. I'm guessing we've still got our... Uh, yeah, we can still get to the sidebar over here. I think we've got new widgets, potentially, that we can probably add into here if we wanted to, which is pretty good. I like this battery level one. That's pretty good. How accurate is that? That's not accurate at the moment, but if I pop that into there... Will it update automatically? It's iCloud batteries. Oh, that's from a, that's from a separate app that I have. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty pleased with the way that everything looks here. No uh, big issues yet. I'm sure there will be some that we come across, and I will keep you up to date on those. But thank you so much for watching. If you want to install uh, macOS Ventura on your system, please do make sure you're backed up first. Be aware that there could be issues, and there are guides out there as well on how to do this on a virtual machine if you don't want it to be your main installation. That might be a bit confusing. I'm not getting involved in all of that, but uh, it is possible. So um, enjoy. Thanks so much for joining. Want the latest Apple news leaks and rumors? Subscribe and ring the bell.